Today we want to talk a little bit about Coulomb's Law. We're starting the new year out with electricity and, and the first part of electricity is static electricity. And Charles Coulomb determined or discovered the relationship between force and charge and the distance between those charges as a constant that we call Coulomb's Law. And so let's write that formula on the board. The force, the electrical force over one is equal to K, Q1, Q2, all over D squared. And so this is one of several of the uh, inverse square laws. And the reason they call it inverse square law is because the force is inversely proportional to the square of the distance. Okay, so let's define some things. First of all, this is the force of the electricity or the electrical charges. K is the constant for the electrical charges, and that's always going to be 9 times 10 to the ninth. So this value right here for K is always 9 times 10 to the ninth. Q1 and Q2 stand for the charges, and over here with this picture, we're going to add some uh, numbers here in just a second. And then the D is for the distance. And remember that when we do distances, the appropriate units are meters. These charges are going to be in coulombs, which I think is interesting because the scientific community uh, liked the work that Coulomb had done, done with uh, static charges, and they gave the units of charge, they named that after Coulomb himself, and so we're going to have charges in coulombs. Now, let's take a look at this picture over here. This is a positively charged particle, and this is a negatively charged particle, and they're hanging by a thread. And so, let's give this one a value of 6 times 10 to the minus 5 coulombs, and let's make this one uh, 7 times 10 to the minus 5 coulombs. And the distance between them is going to be 0 0.50 meters. Okay? Now, that's the information that's normally given in the question. So now we just have to establish that at, into the equation and then plug in the buttons, push the buttons, and solve. So let's look at this right quick. The electrical force over 1 is equal to 9 times 10 to the 9th times 6 times 10 to the minus 5 times 7 times 10 to the minus 5, all divided by 0 0.50 squared. That's uh, squared. There we go. That looks a little better. Now, one of the things that I talked about with my students, and I think that, that you should look into this as well, is depending on what calculator you're using, is that we want to enter these in scientific notation. And so when we do that, we, we use the double E button, which stands for that exponential uh, expression on the calculator. So when I type this in, let me change colors right quick. When I type this in the calculator, I'm going to type 9 times, or excuse me, 9 EE 9. When I do that, the EE right here represents that times 10 part on the calculator. And then I'm going to hit times 6 EE negative 5 times 7 EE negative 5. Now at that point, I usually try to go ahead and hit enter and get a subtotal. So 9 EE 9 times 6 EE negative 5 times 7 EE negative 5 enter. And the answer to the top of that or the numerator would be 37.8. Okay? And that's still got to be divided by 0.5 quantity squared, like that. Now, if you know what, you could do this in your head 0.5 squared should be 0.25. 
if you don't, if you, you're not trusting in this, you, you run it on your calculator right quick. So we've got 37.8 divided by 0 0.25. 37.8 divided by 0.25 equals 151, 151.2, and the units are going to be in newtons. Does everybody understand what we've just shown? Now, one of the nice things about uh, Coulomb's law is that, we, and what we just worked was we solved for the force. But if they, this, array, this equation can be rearranged algebraically and you could solve for the charge, you could solve for the distance, or you could solve for the force, depending on the information that's given. But pretty much this is how it's set up. This is how the problem looks when you uh, are writing it onto your paper or when you get it on a worksheet or something like that. If you have any questions, contact me. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.